Love wins again. 20th Century Fox announced Tuesday it's acquired the life rights of Jim Obergefell and Al Gerardstein, the lead plaintiff and attorney of the historic Supreme Court same-sex marriage case. Fox also landed rights to an upcoming book by Obergefell and Washington Post journalist Debbie Sinzipher. It's called 21 Years to Midnight, The Promise That Brought Marriage Equality to America. Studios acquire life rights to, obviously, make movies. It's a key first step in telling stories about living subjects without risking defamation or invasion of privacy lawsuits. It can also give those subjects a chance to control how their stories told, like in Clint Eastwood's upcoming Miracle on the Hudson biopic. The movie will be based on Captain Sully Sullenberger's memoir. You might remember that he landed a commercial plane on the Hudson River. Sullenberger and his wife will be consultants for the film. The law is a little more forgiving when the story is about a deceased subject. Studios don't have to worry about those defamation or invasion of privacy suits. But they can still run into trouble with the subject's estates. Take, for example, Selma. Those that have gone before us say no more. Even though King's story is fair game, his words aren't. Director Ava DuVernay wrote new speeches for the film to avoid being tied to King's estate during production. She told Deadline, We had to unanchor ourselves from the words in order to get at them. In contrast, DreamWorks took the step of acquiring MLK's life rights from the King estate in 2009. That means the studio could use King's words without those legal headaches, unlike the Selma producers. Fox's Obergefell film will be produced in its Fox 2000 division, alongside Temple Hill Entertainment, the studio that has the Twilight franchise and The Fault in Our Stars in its wheelhouse. A release date hasn't been set. For Newsy, I'm Lexi Hammisfar.